Hello, my friends. Okay, it's me, Karen Valentine. And we're going to um, make a go of doing this adorable little puppy. Um, and I decided that I wanted to have a little bit of throwback. Um, I really want to start working on my, my, uh, my Nina Desert Storm paper again. So um, that is what I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to use um, my luminance pencils on this one. Um, and I'm also going to use the brand new um, soft oil pastels from Mungayo um, that I purchased recently. I did a little, a little review and swatching video on those just um, the other day. So. Um, I think to start with, oh, and the um, the reference photo is available on Pixabay, and I will have a link to that in the description down below. So I think before I start um, doing the dog, <clears throat> I want to do a little bit of the pa the oil pastels right around the very outside. Normally, I would do my backgrounds first and then use a sheet of um, glassine paper or a um, or a paper towel or something to kind of protect the work that I have already done. Um, but in this case, because the oil pastels kind of still stay moist, I don't want to do the whole background first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my um, white. I am not duplicating this background, but I am using um, those colors. I am going to be doing the um, using the grays um, that I got in my set for this. So um, I did a little test on my my little test piece of paper that I have here that I was playing around with. So I did a little test to see if the colored pencil would show up on top of the unsealed oil pastels, and it does. So the reason that I wanted to get the background down first is because I feel like um, it's going to be, we want the background to be in the background. <laughs> we want the dog to be in the foreground. And so if I can get the background down first, and then when I go to do my um, my um, drawing of the dog, um, all of those little hairs and things are going to lay on top of what I've done, rather than me trying to meet the oil pastel up to the um, up, up to the 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 dog. So, I'm going to probably use a combination of white and the light gray. I kind of want um, lightness around him and the darker colors on the outer edge. So I'm just going to go for it and hope that that's that it does what I what I wanted to do. So. Um, let's see, where do I want to start? I think also, real quick, let me think about this for a minute. I think that, um, you know, areas like in here, I won't have to worry about adding the, um, the pastel to because I can just use my color pencil. So let's, oh, let's just go ahead and do it. Um, the only thing that I'm worried about, and now I'm kind of second guessing myself, the only thing that I'm worried about is having these lines be a little bit too dark. Because um, I don't want any lines going this way when the dog hair is going to be coming off this way. So I'm just going to lighten the outer lines. A little bit. This one is probably too late because <laughs> I really got it. Well, no, no, it's not because I can remember we tried that pest erasing that pastel and it actually worked. Okay, 
All right, there we go. So I'm gonna put some of this white. And I remember I don't have to go right up to the edge if I don't want to. Um, boy, I really need that light. Okay, I think this is fine now. Let's just start there and see what happens. I want to blend this out a little bit and I'm going to throw some of the um, light gray in here as well. Um, I don't have to worry too much about blending because thankfully, because they still kind of stay soft. Um, I should be able to come in later and um, add to this and have it turn out to be just fine. So, I hope that I am correct in that. This is my first time really doing this. But again, I really liked, and it's working out the same now, it's really, um, it's really blending nice. <laughs> so I kind of want to come up into this fur a little bit. Um, the main, the main idea is to not have, um, not have the everything meet budding up to each other because I'm afraid that it will um, look it won't look like the dog is in front of it it'll just look butted up and we don't want that so I'm going to throw a little bit of the um, oh do I want dark that might be too dark I'm going to throw a little bit of the just the gray in here as well I want to do this kind of quick. And I'm freaking out a little bit because I'm feeling like I might have just completely gone over because I made that line so light. All right, hang on a minute. I got to I got to check this cuz something did not look right here. Here's I might have covered up too much. Yes, I'm sure I did. Yes, I'm sure I did. Oh, crap. Okay. Um <laughs> All right, well, we're going to break out the hope that I can lay, um, God, what was I thinking? Okay, so let's start there. We don't have to, okay, well, we're off to a good start, aren't we? Um, okay, so... This is the edge of the ear, here's the eye, here is the outer edge of the ear. I need to be using my proportional divider for this. Okay, so part of me wants to just start over. And part of me is like, nope, these kinds of things happen and you have to work through it and fix it. Okay, so. Our eye is right, then we have this bit, which is right, then off of the eye we come up almost straight, okay, so, and then here we have our thing that comes up here. I think that's probably okay. And then this is the line. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to go through that again. So let's get that line a little bit darker. All right, lesson learned. That looks okay. Something here still is feeling weird though. Um, all right, this. Okay. 
This is that. This is that. I feel like such a dummy for doing that. Okay. Um, something just feels so wrong. Why can't I do this? Okay. This is here. This is the outside of the ear. Why is it not feeling? It just doesn't. F I don't know. Something feels wrong. Okay. My my eye and my brain have truly just stopped working, and I can't see what I need to see here. Because there shouldn't be this weird. Okay, there shouldn't be that weird thing there. This is the edge of the ear. It comes around to here. And this is all fluffy. Yeah, I guess it's. I guess it's okay. I'm a little worried about all of this being. Okay, I can start to see it better now. <laughs> that, was, that was intense. Okay, so let's. All right, I feel better, I guess. Oi. I think I'm going to just put some white around the whole thing. That's interesting. You know, every once in a while I just hit this. Kind of like with colored pencils, you just hit this spot where there's weird pigment that you feel like that doesn't belong there. Not especially not in a white. Okay, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's add some light gray. And some regular gray. And then we can come in um, when it's time to really do the background. Um, and add some darker colors. For now, I just want this on here so that when I work my dog, I am working him on top of the background. I'm holding the... Um, the Q-tip down pretty low, kind of almost at the very tip of where the cotton is. Um, I don't have to pr press as hard that way, and it's it's really quite easy to blend these colors. If I held it back here, um, I don't have quite as much control. It's not terrible, but it just feels better to kind of hold it a little bit closer to the to the cotton tip. OK, 
Okay, I think that that is um, good enough for what we need for right now. Just softening this um, because I've never worked with the um, with these before in an actual picture. I want to make sure that when I um, later go to add more to the background, it um, it blends okay. So I think that's good. I think that's all we'll do to start with for the. Um, the background and now I can start on the dock. So I've already pulled out a few of my luminance pencils in colors that I think are going to be what I want to use for the dog. I'm just flipping through to get to my swatch charts. Okay, so let us, as I often do, start with the eye. And I think I can zoom in. Yes. All right. So in addition to my luminance, I've also pulled out some of my Derwent drawing pencils, in just in case I want to use those. Um, that Derwent drawing black is so super nice and black. All right, so I'm gonna start with the luminance black. I think. <laughs> and let's see, I also have luminance um, sepia. Yep. So 009 and 407. Not sure exactly what I'm going to need yet. Um, I'm also going to use some grays. So I've got um, French gray 10% need a little blue there. Um, this is Payne's Gray, 30%, which is a nice bluey color. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. And then I have Light Flesh 10%, which might be what I use here. All right, well, let's just, let's just go. Um, Okay, so I did zoom, but I'm I'm feeling like I'm gonna hit the camera. So let me zoom back out and try pushing the camera in a little bit instead. There, good. That's better. Now my head won't hit the camera. All right, so. It's been a while since I've worked on this paper. So this will be an interesting time. I can see that I've failed to do some of these um, lines here. So we'll just look at that reference photo and Hope that I get it right. So now I'm looking at this going, well, which line? <laughs> That's one of them. Okay. So, from the corner of the eye, come on now. All right, I'm thinking that it is this. And 
and that this is that little blue line right there. So this is the Payne's Gray, 30%. This looks so big, but I think that it's just it's just um, because it really is pretty big, but it doesn't look that big in the drawing or in the picture, but it is. So getting used to using different, um, I'm going to throw a little bit of while I can. Let's see, what do I want to use here? I should have done this. Um, getting used to different, using different mediums can be, there's a little bit of a, of a relearning curve between different stuff. Like using um, drafting film is a completely different feel than using paper. Let's see, let's get this. This is going to be like a Probably a, probably a, hmm, I don't know. All right, hang on. So I want to get that line in. Let's use French gray. Let's use French gray. What is this? Yep, just French gray. Let's use that right here. It might be a little bit brown. But that's okay. I think it'll be okay. And I want these little highlights to feel a little bit more crisp. Okay. Um, let's get... Kind of liked the French. I don't, I don't mind this French gray so much. So, is that what I want to use down here? This is the French gray, ten percent. Let's do that first. I might want to come in with something lighter, but. Um, I'm going to use some of this as a base, I think. I don't know why. Now, I want a green. That's the only, the only thing that I'm not happy with. Um, with the... Oh, I am out of focus. Hang on, you guys. Sorry about that. I don't know. Okay. I'm back in focus. God, I hope I wasn't out of focus for for too long on that. Uh, okay, I'm just going to let it go and apologize. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it probably happened when I pushed my camera in, um, which means it was out of focus for this whole eye so far. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, this is the black. Um. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, um, a lack of grays. 
a lack of gray choices in the luminance line, I think. But I could, if I want, break out the prismas for that if I wanted to, because all of the grays in prismas are light fast. I actually went through all of my pencil sets and um, took out all the colors that were not light fast and marked on my swatch chart, um, marked out the ones that were not light fast. It doesn't mean that I can't ever use them again. It just means, it just makes it easier for me to be aware, depending on what I'm using them on. Okay, so there is a line here. Again, one of the reasons that I love this paper is that I can get right into doing the details. I can build up layers if I want to. I can add more layers if I want to. But if I don't want to, it's just so nice and easy to just get right into doing stuff. I've tried a couple of times again using a toothier paper and every time I've done it I've hated it <laughs> I've hated using it so it's like why use something that you don't enjoy that's just dumb <laughs> so all right this is my white All right, so now I want to decide how I'm going to do these hairs. And I think I'm gonna put the hairs in and work around what I've done with the black. Um, now this color doesn't show up so perfectly wonderfully um, on the tan paper. So it could take a little effort to get, <laughs> to get it the way I want it. Uh, let's throw a few of these. All right, back to the black. I'm going to try and work around what I put on here. Doesn't look like it's working so well. <laughs> I feel like I'm covering it up. It doesn't help that I can't see that the line super duper well. That's okay. We'll make it work. All right, I want to get this um, kind of a, I don't know, I'm going to call it a membrane line. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's... 
Cooper says hi. <sighs> He's saying hi to whoever is outside. Okay, so that is a pretty dark gray. It is um, but I don't I used French gray here. I want that to be a little bit lighter than the French gray. So hmm, I'm going to put some raw oh so I'm gonna put some raw umber here. Then the French gray. It, it's too brown. It needs to be bluer. So Payne's gray, 30%. I want it dark though, so we might have to add. I mean, it is the white of his eye, but it's, it's dark. So Black. We might just start out kind of light and build. Um, let's get this highlight in with the French gray 30% and white. I will say that doing um, this kind of stuff definitely takes longer <laughs> than um, uh, than the coloring pages did. That's for sure. I feel like I hardly get anything done, and then it's like an hour and a half and time to quit. <laughs> Okay, so I put a little bit of um, highlight with the raw umber here, up this line here. I think that's going to be enough. So let's start filling this in a bit and see what we get. I'm gonna start lightly I think I'm going to have to come up with something better to stabilize my camera every time I look up it's shaking and I'm hardly even I'm hardly even shaking the table at all so that may have to be on my list of things to do it's a much longer arm than I used to use. So I suppose that probably makes it a little bit less stable. All right, before I keep going, I want to make sure I could probably go over it, I guess. Could put some little. So I was trying to recreate that um, that sh that shadow that's happening from the eyelashes, but I don't know if I succeeded. Oh, we're getting there. I guess it's not too bad. So time to start building some more depth. Get that color going heavier.
this almost looks like that black just blends into the gray a little bit. So we'll add some there. And I can't tell if that line is because I put that on there when I was showing how to transfer. <laughs> kind of looks like a pencil line. All right, well, the eyelashes are not perfect, but they are at least showing up a little bit better, the dark gray. The darker I go around them, they're showing up better, so that's good. Okay, um, let's do a little bit of the black around here. All right, I am going to break out my Derwent Drawing Ivory Black. If you don't have this, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but just, I mean, I barely touched the paper and it just got so much blacker. Um, if you don't want to buy the whole set of Derwent Drawing Pencils, I would say just get a black and a white in open stock. They're awesome. Okay. So this here, there's something that doesn't look quite right. It's probably because I don't have any of the color um, around here. And I want to blend this a little bit more. So I'm using the um, raw umber 10%. Just kind of blending that highlight. And just the luminance black. pretty pretty okay I did something weird here that I probably shouldn't have done but and then this is the I wonder if I can get I doubt it but I'm gonna try I tried it once before on a white paper and it didn't I didn't like what it did it didn't work but I'm going to try it anyway. Now, they just don't... Um, the stuff just does not come off on paper like it does on... Um, drafting film. <clears throat> Other people, maybe they... I don't know. Maybe they have a technique that I definitely do not have. So... 
that's okay. I'm going to use some um, brown ochre on these eyelashes. And I wonder, probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, you can get a little bit of them showing. I'm, I'm okay with that. I think once we get the um, some more of the hairs going around the eye, let's try some of this. And then the um, light flesh 10% on top in some areas here. Um, how do I want to do this? I don't want to blend that black. Although in this picture, we have little dark bits. So let's do that. Um, I want something, okay, so I used brown ochre, and I want something just a teensy little bit um, warmer, redder. Let's try the dark flesh. those little black lines. I don't know that I put those in the right place. So they don't start until way up here. Corner of the eye. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... See if we can pull some of that out. All right, so now that little that little bit right there. I don't know if this is the right, if this light flesh. Let's try brown ochre 10% instead. Where is that? I thought 
thought I pulled it out, but it's light flush 10%. Uh, where are you? Uh oh. All right. <laughs> where is it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. 78. Let's try the brown ochre 10% instead. Oh, yeah. I think I like that better. The, um, that light flesh 10% almost was a little bit too yellow, especially for like this area. So I'm gonna put some of that in here. That comes all the way up to here. Here, this is actually needs to be a little bit darker. Let's do brown ochre, brown ochre in here. Try and um, pay attention to the size of the hairs. Short hairs need to stay short. Long hairs need to be long. And always try and go in the direction of that fur. All right, I'm gonna come on top with my brown ochre a little bit. Brown ochre 10%, sorry. And then my black. You can go really lightly on this paper and it makes a nice mark so you don't have to press hard and you get a nice skinny line that way. The lighter pressure you can apply, the thinner your line is going to be. The thicker pressure you put on there, the thicker your line is going to be. Okay. Um, dark Flash. I think it's going to be red enough, but I might want to come in and add a little bit of burnt sienna. Maybe. a little bit of the, excuse me, a little bit of the lines. That's okay. All right, let's go up here a little bit. Um, I think burnt ochre 10%. And we want that coming all the way around. We've got some of that in. Let's put a little bit of this burnt ochre in here. Now here is where um, 
going above the eye. You can see the, the hairs, they come up and around the eye and then down and out. So I want to try and make sure that I um, stay with that direction. I don't want to put too much of this in here. And actually, I might put a little bit of the light flesh 10% in here. I don't know, I might break out the white, actually. Not white, let's do buff titanium. I just love, truly, like this is the best part, is being able to add light over dark. really light part it it kind of ends right about in here anyway so and let's if we can throw a little bit of light right there okay that color I might try dark flesh um, sepia is going to be too brown. Um, I think. I've also got my Derwent drawing sepia red, but I think that's too red. Let's add a little bit of that. actually need to go darker though so I'm looking for it's in my hand somewhere I only have about 10 pencils in my hand don't know why I can't find what I'm looking for <laughs> there we go okay this is the dark flesh So we need this right here to be a little bit more um, dark than this little eyebrow bit. And I'm debating on using, I think burnt sienna is going to be too red, maybe more of this brown ochre. to start putting some some black in here too Let's try 
try some sepia. Yep, I like that. those black hairs. Uh, um, just before I do that, um, I'm going to use my, well, first I'm going to get my eraser out. buff titanium. This is all quite light. And actually also um, Alright, let's do a little also a little brown ochre 10%. Try and hold my pencil back pretty far if I can. Um, yeah, that helps. Holding it back quite far really gets the um, those lines to be nice and skinny. too thick because I was holding it too close. All right, we also need the very, very lightest of touch because I want these black lines to be really skinny. I have to work this area a little bit more for sure, but that's feeling, that feels pretty good. Let's, um, let's work down here a little bit. I can at least get the eye done. Um, debating between The light flesh 10%, which might be too yellow. No, I think it's, I think it's okay. You know what I do want to do? I want to make sure that I get that in here the way that I want it. So it comes down almost right off of the eye edge of the eye, the outer edge of the eye. Where is that? Well, I don't have it drawn very well. It comes down to here. So let's put a little bit of a line here to mark it off. And then A 
about this far. It's a little bit bigger. So it's going to be like right there. Everything that comes off of that is going to go up and get a lot darker. So we're just going to work this area right here. Do a little bit of brown ochre. I'm going to sharpen this nice and sharp. This area out here gets a lot um, kind of more beigey, gray. It's not quite as warm. All right. Should I try sepia before I try black? Let's do that. Let's try some sepia. It's dark, but it's not quite as harsh. Might need to darken up that area under the eye a little bit. It's almost like these dark lines are just little teeny tiny dashes of color. I'm turning my pencil a little bit as I go to try and keep it, keep as sharp an edge on it as I can. All right, now I'm going to do black and I'm going to Try and concentrate it right in this area. Is this my black? No, this is my dark flesh. Black. Let's darken this up. I'm going to just tap it. Obviously, you can hear, you can hear it and it's probably shaking the camera. So some of these, they go this way as opposed to the curvy. So 
this all needs to be a lot darker. Um, I did a raccoon recently. And so far, it's my favorite piece that I've done to date. And I think one of the reasons that I like it so much is I got the um, values right on it. I got my darks really nice and dark. Um, so the, and, and my lights, I think I got my lights right too. So what happens is you get that really nice variation of your darkest darks and your lightest lights. And I think that's, I think that's why I like it almost better than any of the other. Yeah, probably, it's probably my favorite piece. So I'm really trying to concentrate on getting my darks dark enough. Um, and sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge only because, um, you know, it's scary sometimes to, to lay down those dark colors. So when you're doing these little slashy bits, the little hairs that are showing through, it's, it's really, um, it can be kind of challenging to make sure that they look random and not, um, you know, like dot, 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 dot. You want to be really careful about that. That's kind of a challenge. I really want to come up here and get the darks going back there because that's what's going to make that bit look like it's um, standing up. So maybe I'll just kind of put some of those in right now. This is the dark flesh. Doing it real lightly, but you can at least it helps to see. What you're gonna, you know. Like that's already standing out better now. And this has a long way to go yet. This all needs to be way darker. Like with black. Some more brown ochre. These um, black lines that I put on here are way too big, I think. Or there's not enough of them, maybe. I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking about breaking out um, a polychromos black. 
or maybe just like my Spiro Farb in black. Um, because yeah, my Spiro Farb in black is nice and long, so I'll just use that. I think. Okay. Oh yeah, there. Okay. Um, I love the Luminance pencils, but because the barrel is so thick, um, you just can't get the teeniest, tiniest little hairs. So, um, polychromos black if you don't have. I mean, truly, that's probably, it would probably be better for me to use than this one, but it's what I have nice and long. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to pull out an extender and all that. Okay, something's, we're getting there. Gotta remember that these are these are marathons and not sp and not sprints, right? So I don't mind taking the time to do these because it's just so enjoyable for me to be to sit here and do this and watch a piece come to life. I just love it so much. I can't even like it's all I think about practically these days the next piece and the next piece and the next piece this looks like I need a little bit of something light like um, French gray 10% right there and this highlight is too thick that is supposed to just be like it's not even a highlight I think it's a little eye goober <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it in there because I like it okay how much darker debating on what to do here because I'm not crazy about how it looks and I'm wondering if I were to go over it what would happen you know if I were to kind of sort of blend it out a little bit I don't know I'm experimenting because I don't know maybe it's just that I still haven't put enough dark in yet um This is the edge of my thing, right? Right. Let's put some more dark flesh on this side. doing wrong I'm not seeing things are not look things don't look right why why don't they look right the um let's go from the edge of the from the edge of the ear to the edge of the darkest bit that's why needs to come in more. And this comes all the way out to here. Just tiny little, I mean, 
And I'm just barely touching the pencil to the paper because I really want these to be skinny. Kind of feel like I got certain areas of this one a little bit too thick. do brown ochre, some more of that in here. And some more brown ochre 10%. some white on him. Well, not white, buff titanium. I might even put some buff titanium on that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do white. to blend all of that. Something's not right about this color. Maybe it needs a little bit more yellow. What is this? All right, this is brown ochre. This is brown ochre 50%, but I don't think that that's going to no, that's not gonna help. Um, okay, what does that mean? Back to the light flesh? Light flesh 10%. I don't know. I don't think this is... We're just kind of... I guess you could call this glazing this color on just to try and make it a little bit... Give it a teensy bit more yellow. Let's do... Some tiny little light. I think this just needs work right here. glutton for punishment. Well, it's not really punishment, but like, seriously, can't learn that this doesn't work. <laughs> I just have to still try. <laughs> nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, I feel like I should have left some of these little teeny tiny hairs, but over the black, I don't think it's working very well. So that doesn't work too bad though. So I added some light. It's not perfect, but um, I added that light color, whatever that was, pick any light color. It lightened up the black and then I went back over it again. It's not perfect because this really should have these little red, um, little red hairs that are not showing but it's not terrible oh look derwent drawing sepia red because they're so soft that they made a nice mark 
Yep, I made a nice mark on that black. Good deal. I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to blend this a little bit. Well, it's looking pretty good. I need that eye to be a little bit blacker, though. Um, so I'm getting distracted away from this for a minute. And I'm going to come in here. I want the highlights to show, but I don't want them to show too much. That's a little better. And then some dark up here. That's better. All right, let's go back to this. I'm going to break out the dark flesh instead of the black. Um, or maybe the sepia, I don't know. This needs a little bit more here. Definitely the dark flesh. I love these um, new colors that they added to the um, Luminance line. I use them both in my pastels and in my color pencils. All of the dark fleshes, all the light fleshes, are so good for animal portraits is in addition to human portraits. Okay, let's try some sepia. If I can find it. I'm gonna sharpen just Sometimes you think you want black, and in reality, a dark color other than black will work even better. Especially for right in here, I think it's there's not enough texture. Starting to feel better. All right, back to the polychromos black or Beer farb and black is what I'm using, but polychromos is great too. Okay, let's start adding a little bit more. We're going to be wrapping up here pretty soon. I kind of like keeping these videos at about an hour and a half. But I think. Hopefully I don't come back and find all my black faded away. I never noticed that happening when I was using, um, when I was doing coloring pages, but I've noticed it happening more lately. And I don't know. Tell something about this. Is it too light? 
This is the um, brown ochre. Is it that I didn't get it angled up enough? I don't, I just don't, I can't tell. Maybe it's just because I, I'm not finished, you know, like I still need to continue that line. Um, this is the sepia. Well, that could be part of the problem right there. Let's bring a little bit of this. Okay. I can start to kind of see. To keep sitting back kind of so I can see both things side by side and sometimes I even kind of squint my eyes a teeny tiny little bit and even that helps to um, let you see value and if you're dark enough compared to the other um, picture your reference photo Okay, that feels pretty good. This right here is not dark enough yet. Back to the dark flesh. Here probably needs to be a little bit more dark fleshy. is feeling pretty good. Yeah. I like it. A little bit more black in here. Yeah, I really am going to be curious to see if I come back to this in the morning and everything looks all faded out again. We'll see. I don't know. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. This actually needs to be a little bit thinner. All right, for now, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we can always add more as we continue. But it feels okay. I could work on this all day. In fact, I just might. Um, uh, but I'll be definitely, I will be filming it. Like right here, like sometimes I do come in and I go, I could have sworn that I filled all that in and made that dark and then it just doesn't look like it. Because actually that white of his eyes still looks kind of um, 
too um, too too light. So Payne's Gray sixty percent. Let's try that. And then maybe a, a little bit more of the black. It's kind of like there's not a defined line between where the gray is and where the eyeball is. It's kind of soft. All right, that's not too bad. I think I need to get some more. See what I mean? I could just keep working on this forever. I want to keep going. All right, I'm going to stop for this video. Um, I will, I will definitely continue on. Um, I kind of like to like stop at a good stopping point, and I still don't feel like I have this exactly the way I want it. But. I should let it go, keep working the area. That might make a big difference. And then I'll know better what it needs. So, okay. So that is all for um, for this time. Um, sorry about the out of focus bit in the beginning, but we got it, <laughs> we got it fixed. So yay. Um, I am I'm happy. I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. So um yeah, until I see you guys on the next one, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And always know that I love and appreciate every single one of you who um, who support me, whether um, through a comment or um, or or a like or or anything at all. And don't forget, I do have um, my new Facebook group for um, the channel. Um, I have kind of um, asked that it remain um, uh, remain at um, colored pages that you've done through my tutorials um, or um, original art through the tutorials or your own original art because there are so many um, wonderful coloring groups out there to share your coloring pages on already. So... That is all. I will um, probably keep filming today, but I'll be sure to uh, make those, you know, part two. So thanks, guys. I will see you later. Bye.